Now, it is one thing to lie to your partner. It's another thing to lie to your partner while you documenting your life. We gonna have to get together real quick, so let's get into it. I'm Denise Brady. If you're new here, I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I like to watch documentaries, reality shows, and put my therapeutic spin on top of it. Now, watching this episode at the beginning, I was wondering what was I watching? What was, cause you know HBO can turn it up real quick, okay? Him in that toy store, being a big kid, you saw a lot of his inner child come out throughout this whole episode, okay? Now, where do we begin? Because it's such a rich episode. As a therapist, it's interesting to see someone who could potentially be my client and seeing them in therapy compared to how they act in therapy to how they're acting in real life. And the things that they be telling me on that couch don't always match how they're acting in real life. And we saw that with Gerard, okay? Now, to me, Gerard is somebody who is looking for a connection, looking for love, okay? But he is not ready for a relationship. But he's searching for a connection so much that he'll get it from anywhere, okay? Now, he's getting it from apps, he's getting it from real life. And it was interesting at the beginning to see him say, yes, my boyfriend lives in another city, another state, but according to my American Express, it's the, it does not. He does not, okay? Now, in the beginning, it's like, okay, so you got money, you're making it work, what can go wrong? You can be your own worst enemy, okay? And Jirai is really acting out all the things that he was not able to do as a child. You see that's, that coming up in different ways. And some of it is good, but some of it is very toxic. And in a lot of ways, I feel like Jirai is the anti-toxic masculinity, but at the same time, he is toxic himself. Looking at the dynamics of his relationship with his partner, one, once again, he fell for a friend, okay? It's that anxious attachment style. He's trying to get whatever is missing from here, fed through them apps, and fed through people. Now, the apps give him instant gratification. It's like a kid in a candy store, okay? So much access. When you have a desire that you're trying to get met, and you can't always get it met by, say, your significant other, those apps make it too easy for people who have different things going on mentally, um, intimacy wise, it just perpetuates, it's like a drug. And I think for Gerard, the apps have become like a drug and giving him that instant gratification. And it's interesting to watch him want just like connection, connection, connection through love and want monogamy, but he's not ready for it, okay? You can want something and not be ready for it. His actions, his words don't match. Okay, and it's interesting. His partner to me is also very interesting. Okay, and at times I'm wondering, are you in love with Gerard the person? Are you in love with Gerard what he offers? Because he continues to, as we see throughout this episode, cheat, cheat, cheat. And at one point, I think his name is Mike, he knew. Y'all know something I don't know. I saw y'all zoom in on my face when he said, you know, can you be monogamous? And y'all zoomed in on my face. So that gave me my spotty sense. What's really going on, okay? But still, you stay. He continues to stay. And that's why I'm like, what, what is going on with him that you will stay in a toxic relationship? Now, this relationship is not toxic in the sense that we see overtly toxic. I think it's more undercurrent toxic relationships. And to be... I wouldn't say used, because you are kind of being used for comfort, you're being used for physical intimacy, you're being used for a connection, but what is behind that, okay? It doesn't sound like there's a lot of depth into their relationship, um, and it's unfortunate to see someone be used, manipulated, and then go to therapy and sit in front of a therapist and have your partner basically lie. And a lot of people go through that. Having their partner say one thing, do one thing, oh, we're gonna, I, I commit to couples therapy, I'll find a therapist, show up, and then be lying, okay? And then Gerard is not even a good liar, okay? His own friend, you, you, he was not built for this cheating life. People think they wanna be in these streets, people think that they're good at lying, they're not, okay? Because if your own friend caught you, 
you know, he walked onto the elevator. Oh, who is that? Huh? Guess one of my own business. But your own friend catches you cheating. Okay, he is not built for this cheating life, and it would save a lot of people from being hurt if Gerard just kind of lived in just dating casual relationships because my fear is that one day being on these apps he's gonna get caught up the wrong person is gonna realize once they see him because apparently he's not showing his face he's probably showing just his body parts or different parts so people don't really know who he is and it's interesting once they really meet him in real life they still don't know who he is <laughs> and he says they are like what do you do stuff I do stuff so that's also quite interesting, but I, I feel like the wrong person is gonna get him caught up where they're gonna recognize who he is. And I don't want him to fall into a me too thing. I don't want him to be, a, be used and abused. Similar to in some ways, the way he's kind of using some of these people for relationships and connections, it would be better for him to just say, I don't, I'm not ready to be in a relationship. It is best for me to just date, figure myself out and work on myself. Okay, because all the stuff he didn't get from his parents, all the shame, all the guilt about who he is, being in the closet, hiding all those parts of his self are perpetuating in his life. Okay, the love he didn't get from his mother, the love he is still probably wanting from her, the real acceptance, the self-doubt, the relationship with his father, who we have not seen yet, but all that unhealed hurt is coming up to the surface. And then now you're seeing him be involved in these different relationships, these casual relationships, okay? And some of it's a little cringe. Cause you see just like, oh wow, the hurt, the pain right in front of our eyes, okay? And my hope for him is that he can recognize, I have some real healing to do. Watching him shop for a therapist was interesting. I thought it was one, I would, I would assume maybe he would have chose a therapist who was of color and he did not also interesting how he chose a, a therapist who was a woman okay and sometimes choose their clients choose therapists based off of their unmet need i am now that person who is repairing that hurt from your mother your father whoever it is and now you're looking for that mother and me as your therapist so it's interesting to see him shop for a therapist and then still not take it seriously and it shows how a lot of clients do that they shop, they go to therapy, and then don't do the work, okay? You can be in therapy and not doing the work, okay? Now, I'm interested to see how this continues to evolve. It's very real, very raw. I'm enjoying every minute of it. You know why? Because the world is not ready for this kind of truth. The world is not ready for this rawness, and we need it. We need a black gay man living in his truth the good parts, the bad parts, the vulnerable parts to show how human people really are and how people really do struggle with dating and how they struggle within themselves to shame, the guilt, the unhealed hurt, how that all comes out. But I think people are not really watching this because they are uncomfortable with homosexuality. People are uncomfortable with that, but it's such a rich docu-series that everyone should sit down and watch it because it's so good, it's so raw, it's so real that it makes you uncomfortable. And we all need to start getting uncomfortable in order to grow. But let me know your thoughts. Are y'all liking me recap this series? Because episode three is coming this Friday. And you know your girl will be back. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.